What's up everybody, welcome back to Walls of CCLP1. We are on level 101 called Middleweight Challenges, which is not only the start of a brand new decade, but also the beginning of the triple digits, well, sort of. Technically the last level was. Uh, Iron Sky, yeah, Iron Sky was the last level we played. Um, and I was specifically told by JB in a, in the in a comment from the last video that these next few levels in particular are are more on the long side of things, which is to be expected for a difficult set. But I'm up for the challenge as always. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, so that cloned this ball cloner. I kind of that kind of felt obvious to me that that was going to happen. All right, we have a glider cloner and a block, or a glider on a trap, not a cloner. Um, I can use it to get the green key. That seems like my only option. Naturally, I can use this to get the blue key. And then I can clone a ball to like, go up there. Okay, so now what? Well, that released a glider. That, that It was destined to go to the bomb right there no matter what I did. But how do I get to that chip? Is there suction boots under the block? No. Uh, is there a way I can use the block? Well, kind of. Oh, I see. We do that. That's kind of cool. Alright, we got ourselves a key puzzle up here. We can collect both of them, and we can kind of see what we gotta do. So the blue key we want to use for the to get up to the next section, which means I want to go through the red, the yellow door, and then go around. Yeah, like this. All right, that was pretty simple. I mean, you didn't really have much of a choice there. You could have messed it up, but well, why would you want to do that? Okay, what is this section? Okay, so I think I want to release the blob first. I mean, let's try handling it with getting the teeth out, out and about. Alright, well that surprisingly worked. Okay, so what's this about? We got six blocks. And it looks like very straightforward uh, block pushing path. All right, this is kind of this is pretty fun. I'm I'm liking the level so far. Okay, what is this? Paramecia and red keys. I assume I can collect these with no problem. I think I see how I want to handle this, but I'm, I'm concerned on what's on the bottom here. Okay, there is gravel. Okay, I think I see what I want to do. I want to wait right here, and then do that. Okay. So I got four of them. And I have to, I have to navigate through Red doors and green doors only. Okay, that was pretty simple. Uh, what is this? Are there chips under here? There are. Okay, I don't really see a reason to go back up there. 
so we won't do that. And that's all the ones I can push, so let's go ahead and do this next. Okay. No, oh, it's kind of like a puzzle. It's like a um, a block on puzzle puzzle. That's a tongue twister. Uh. Wait, am I screwed? Did I screw the level because I didn't clear the path? Because there's two blocks at this top row, right? And there's, I assume, only one trap button on the top. Yeah, so one of these blocks has to go down to one of these buttons. And there's two up here, and the only way I can push it down is by going up and around like that, and that block is in the way. That is unfortunate. I was under the impression this was the kind of level where you just had to get through the little section and move on. I didn't actually think they intertwined like that. That's kind of a sudden twist to throw at you, I, th I feel like, but that's just my opinion. Well, it didn't matter. I was screwed anyway. Alright, well... A little bit of an unfortunate realization. But... We can handle it. So yeah, I haven't recorded in... A while. I, I feel like... I know I say that in practically every video. I don't have a recording schedule, and I I think it's safe to say I never really will have one. Because if, if, I, if I seriously were to say I am going to commit to a recording schedule, that would put a lot of pressure onto me, for lack of a better word to commit to it, and I, it's not something I can commit to, this is solely a for fun thing, I mean, of, of course I'm committed to completing these LPs and stuff, but, I, I don't want to, like, say, oh, every, a, a new video every such day, and then that day comes and there's no new video, and everyone's gonna be like, where's that Josh video? And I, I just don't want to... I just don't want that to happen. Oh. Really? I want to like that. That's clever to include that. But that, that was a little sudden to to throw at you, I feel like. So I like it for how clever it is, but I don't like it for how it just kind of threw it at you, like that. Okay, so now we can push a block down. Okay. Okay, this is a little weird. Okay, I'm going to try to keep him in that in that configuration. Okay, I'm just going to go all the way around just to, just to play it safe. Okay, so it looks like we got some toggle wall type of thing. Okay. 
So left. Left will put me up to where the hint is. That's an easy hint to get to. Okay, so... Okay, there we go. So, I said last time that my hunch to this was chip cart 64, and I'm sticking with that guess. Walls from chip cart 64. Okay, I kind of had a feeling because of the uh, the five by the five tile wide hallways that this level or that chip cart 64 had. Okay, so do I want to keep the tanks? No, I don't think I I don't think I need to sp specifically. Oh. I think I want to and There's no way I can flip the tanks, so at least well, there is a way, but it's not till later. I think what I want to do is I want to blow up the top ones first. Okay. So I blow these top ones up. Yeah, so the tanks I do have to keep here. But I, I have a little bit of a conundrum now. I have two bombs on this side and one bomb right here, and I have four blocks, but the way th these blocks are arranged, I have to lose two of them. So it looks like I might have uh, screwed this section up somehow. Maybe there's a way I can I can salvage it. I don't see it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's unfortunate. And I'm already getting the skip level option. Well, I mean, we know everything up we know everything up to that point. So there's no harm done, but still. Okay. If that blob can come out and come over here. Not go back over there when I go over there. That's not nice of you. Okay. I feel like I should have died there, but I did not. So this seems like a pretty fun level overall so far. I got... I bet you anything I was like right at the halfway mark of the, of the level altogether. Okay, clear that. On second thought, you know what? I do like this little trick, because it's not something you would think about. Okay.
Oh, that was pretty simple. Okay, I kind of took a risk with taking that little shortcut. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that hint is very easy to get to. Okay, so I was right that we do have to start on this side. Oh, but you know what? Maybe I only need to do one at a time. Okay. There we go. That's a pretty cool little section. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. We... I can't get all three of those chips on the right-hand side. Can I? No, yes I can. I can do this. Okay, well that was kind of cool. Oh boy, what is this? What is this section? What is that walker at the end too? <laughs> that's that's got me concerned. Okay, so it looks like I got three blocks. This should only take two, really. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to wait. Okay, so I have the red key now, and I have absolutely no idea how to start this next section, because I was not paying attention to this below. So I, the only thing I can think of, I'm thinking with links in mind, I can take all three fire boots this way and still be able to use one, or I can collect two and uh, lose them. And my gut's telling me to take the two and lose them. So let's do that. Oh, it's one of these things? Okay. Well... I might be okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll be okay. 
This is a little strange because uh, there's just a bunch of fire boots. And I can kind of cheese it a little bit in Lynx. Or in MS, I mean. Okay. Well, technically not really. I still collect two there. And I lost again because of that. Had no idea I needed fire boots to progress onwards before I started that. Well, you weren't kidding, JB. These these are pretty long levels. Well, this one is. Though I can't really blame I can't really blame the level. I can't blame the level for what it is and the kind of the kind of level that it is. Oh that was just unlucky. Like I more or less blame the the uh the structure of, of the level. Like, I know for sure, I, I know 99% sure at least that a linear level like this was basically forced because of the level, because of the template. So I can't blame, I can't blame the level for what is in it, but I guess maybe I just have to observe better. I mean, that that is part of my motto as a level designer is, it's on the player if they're if they're observant or not, not the not the designer. That's that's my philosophy with level design, at least. It, no, I know that's not one hundred percent agreed with, but. Eh, that's just how I how I go about. That was dumb. I I pressed left. I did not press down. That's ridiculous. That's my philosophy. If it's up to the player to be observant, not not you can't like. If you want the player to be observant, you should probably make it a little bit obvious in some cases but I mean at this point in this game's history I mean you have to be observant if you know the game and you know the elements to it then there's really almost no excuse to why you can't observe what's ahead other than you just don't think about it and in my case here, I, I'm not thinking about it. I'm more or less more focused on the sections I'm in rather than what I'm going to be enduring in, in a room or two from where I am. Alright, that's all done again. I don't really know how to feel about this ball section. It's not hard, it's just... I don't know, maybe it's just the way I'm, I'm feeling right now. <laughs> okay.
Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. I know I did that. Okay. This section I like. This is a nice little section. Okay, so now that I know... Well, let's get this red key first. Okay. So now that I know that there's fire that I have to pass through down there... I can kind of think about this a little bit better. So I went for the two boot thief route. So let's, I guess, take th all three. So I mean, in links, how else am I gonna get down here? Okay, so. The best way to do it would be, I think, like this. So I have four blo I need four more blocks, and I have six more pairs of fire boots, and I'm I have to collect two. Oh, my window went inactive. What a surprise! I have to collect two for this next one. Okay. Okay, I think I got it now. Okay, so we got... We got that. Okay, I assume there's chips under all these, yeah. Okay, that was pretty simple. Okay, what is this? Oh, this looks familiar. I did this in one of my Walls of CCLP3 levels. I don't know if that, I don't know if that was inspiration or not, but that's pretty cool. Okay. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's cool. I, I like how there was a section like that here. That was really fun. Okay, so what is underneath all these blocks? I assume chips, yeah. Okay, so now it's just the end, and this walker is not that bad. I say as I panic. <laughs> Alright, min middleweight challenges is done. That was a very fun level. I, all things considered, that was very fun. Um, I loved just about every individual section. Um, the linearity of it was... Might have been a little bit, too, a little bit too much, but like I said, I don't blame it here. It, 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 it probably couldn't have been, couldn't have been helped any. So I don't blame it whatsoever. I had a lot of fun with it though. All right, even a worm will turn. I don't even know how long the video is. I imagine it's over twenty minutes. Okay, what is this level? There's invisible walls. 
And more Paramecium with red keys. This is like the third time I've seen this done in like the past five levels. Oh. Really? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so there are invisible walls in play here, obviously. Oh, I can't get to that hint. I'm not sure what level this is. Oh. No, that was that wasn't right. <laughs> oh, I had the right idea. I just had the wrong parody of the Paramecia. Okay. I don't know what level this uses. Not quite yet. Okay, so I can go into that teleport if I need to. Okay, so we're just going to let you do that. Okay. And this looks this looks very familiar. This looks very familiar. I think this is key farming. Yeah, this has to be key farming. Okay, well I never did go I never did go up to the hint. So I guess we'll go do that. I think that's all the teleport really leads to. Yeah. Walls from key farming. Okay, so what do we got here? Do I want this yellow key? Yeah, I do want this yellow key. Okay. Alright, even a worm will turn is done. That was a nice little quick level. I like how it kind of paid tribute to what key farming did with uh, keeping a lock in play here. I thought that was pretty cool. I know this wall pattern was also used in Ultimate Chip 6. Um, and this room in particular was used for the beginning of whatever level that was. And it had a really cool Soka ban. So that was pretty fun. Um, very interesting level. I liked it. The deep end. Oh, that sounds intimidating. And look at that time limit. That's huge. Nice block. Okay, so... Interesting starting room. Big ol' hallway here. And what is this? Big ol' room right here. Hmm. Interesting level. Interesting. This is... I'm not sure what this is. I feel like I should know. This is a lot of zigzags. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a lot of blocks. And yeah, I'm not going to try to do that room.
this should be a huge indicator to what this is. But I'm going to go up into one of these rooms. Try to. I see blocks on that edge, on the, on the border of that. And I think this is Chip Grove City. Out here the water is shallow, but once you breach the gravel, it gets a little deeper. Walls from Chip Grove City. Alright. So it's one of my level templates again. I was wondering what JB did with this level. I actually never saw what he did prior to this. And this is a very interesting idea with the level template. I'm surprised. I shouldn't be, but I am. Okay, so... Okay, so I take it... Wait, this is the only pair of flippers that we get. And we kind of have to connect all the rooms together. Which doesn't seem too bad. So I guess this this roadway or intersection road that I built initially is the shallow water, and I take it all these rooms have water under blocks. That's kind of what I'm getting from the hint. This is going to be quite a challenge. I'm surprised this is as early as it is. Maybe it's not too bad though. I'm not sure. Well, to start this, though. Okay, so let's let's start off with that. These edge blocks, I can't... Ooh, there's... Oh, there's the teleport in play here, too. I'm actually surprised this room was used as part of the level. The room in the, the, room in the original level was just a bunch of chips, and it was kind of pointless. Uh, I feel like I already messed this up. Yeah, I can't even get in there. Okay. Well, let's just go straight to that room, I guess. I kind of figured that would be the right way to go about it. Let's try this, though. Oh, I'm still missing a block down here. And I can't... I made it... I had to put that wall there. <laughs> I had to put that wall there to prevent you from pushing blocks into this room. That wasn't the intention of that. This big this room up here used to be a blob room. So I'm surprised there was a wall here. Okay. So maybe it's just like that. That's the only thing I can think of. But I'm still a block short. How is that possible? How is that possible? I've done this room like three different ways and none of them worked. So what am I supposed to do?
Like... There's nothing that more I can do there. I'm gonna keep doing that one room until I figure it out. Like, this bottom block really doesn't matter how you push it. I... I would think it doesn't... it doesn't matter. So I just... I keep pushing it right there. What if I push this right there? Does that make a difference? There we go. I, we got... we finally got that room. Now, I know I'm going to mess up all these other rooms, so... Time to get cracking, I guess. Alright. So, I think the easiest way to get from the teleport to here is just to follow this bottom edge. So I'm not going to be too concerned with There might actually be a lot of extras in this level. I I don't know. I wouldn't think there would be. That's just my hope. Okay. I think I might have this in the bag. This room at least. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So this room is done, and I can't. And this is the only pair of flippers I have, so I can't do. I can't actually collect any chips until I do every room, which is kind of disappointing. Sort of. I don't. I don't know how to really feel about that. I mean, it's not. A, it's not a. It's not bad or anything, it's just kind of eh. Maybe a little too demanding. I don't know, we'll see how the, we'll see how this level plays out. It might actually be very lenient for all I know. Um usually these water under blocks levels can be very tricky to do. Oh, did Did he did he connect these rooms together? Oh wow, he connected these rooms together. Wow, okay. I I I never I don't remember I don't I clearly don't remember the late, the level template for this level. I didn't think they were connected connected together like that. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, well this room is pretty simple. I just gotta go all the way around and do my dirty work. Okay, so there's that. Now I gotta figure out how to connect, how to connect these two together. Which I don't know how to how to do that. I'm kind of going all over the place with these uh with these rooms. I don't have a really particular mindset with what to do what first. We'll commit to this one though. Okay, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do something like this. That seems to be okay. And I can do that. And I could connect it right there.
The other thing is if I save enough blocks, I can actually take blocks between rooms since they're not separated by thieves. Okay, so that's there. And that's there. Maybe there might not be actually enough blocks to do this. Okay. Well, maybe there might be. Because all I gotta do here is this. So now these are all connected. And let's see if I can save a block. Just out of curiosity. I can I see I can save one. I can save one by doing this. I can bring it with me if I need to. And then these the rest of these I can't. But the, everything is connected, so that's okay. So I have a block to spare if I need it. Don't know if I will or not, but I'm taking advantage of any extras I can snag out of these rooms. Okay, what's next? This this one room on this this corner seemed pretty small. I mean, I could see the whole thing in this window. So I'd like to think the trick to this is obviously well, it is obvious. <laughs> I have to fill in that middle square with the water, but I'm not sure which block to push to do that. I think the right thing to do would be this, like that. And then do something like this, maybe. And maybe this? Maybe? I do have that block to spare if I need it, so just got to keep that in mind. Okay, let's, let's take advantage of that, first and foremost. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. So I'm going to push you probably right there, or I'll leave you right there. Let's see, I want to do the smaller rooms first, just so... I get them down. Okay, so I'm going to do the same strategy. I'm going to push this down and do that. And then I'm going to push you right there. Push you there. Push you there. And then I'll do this. I'll do that. Okay. And I can I can save two blocks out of this. Wow. The more the merrier. Let's do this. This is this is actually pretty fun to figure out. I'm keeping these these spare blocks, they might come in handy. So there is a little bit of leniency behind this. And I do appreciate that. Okay, this one's going to be a little awkward. I can see majority of it from right here, but not entirely. So maybe what I want to do is that. This one's a little weird. I want to do that there. I can't actually use the blocks in this room, so I do have to be a little bit more careful here. Oh, that was easy. That was, there was nothing to that. Okay. So that was, that wasn't, that wasn't hard. Okay, so all these top sections are done. I just got these two rooms right here. These are the bigger rooms. So let's start off with, oh, I don't know.
I don't know. Let's start off with this room. Let's start. Let's start here, I guess. And there's like a checkerboard pattern with it. So that's gonna be interesting. Maybe the spare blocks will be used here. Who knows? Actually, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something like this and turn it around like that. I think approaching it from this side was actually easier. And wow, I can get I can get quite a few blocks out of this, I think. Oh yeah, I can get I can get even more extra blocks out. This is great. The more the merrier. I don't know if I'll need them, but I'm keeping them just in case. Especially for this big room up there. I have a feeling I'm going to need them from for there. Okay. So this is the last room I have to do and it has a very particular pattern. I have no idea where the chips are in this one. I assume the upper left corner. Or maybe both corners. I imagine it's both corners. Oh, that's just the one. Okay. I stand corrected. Okay, so I want to approach this from this side. Because if I can follow the edge, ooh, the walls there make it a little interesting. Actually, this one's going to be a little tricky to do. Maybe the spare blocks are required. I really wouldn't be surprised. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that there. We'll do that. Yeah, maybe maybe these blocks are required. Now that I think about it. I mean, all this work just to save one block that I can't really use. We'll push. We'll put you there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't really. These this pattern I can't really do much with. Okay, so let's go get those let's get those spare blocks. This is why I, I was really happy that there are spares here. I have like seven that I can use, so I think I'm okay. And this one's gonna take kind of a wacky approach, but Kind of surprised this is a timed level. This seems like a good untimed candidate. 
in my opinion. I know that can't exactly be changed because it's on Pie Guy site, but still. Okay, I think this is the only block I need. I only had to use four. I had like three more to use just in case. Okay, yeah, that's connected. All right, so let's get the blocks that I that I kept. Let's get those. Let's get those out of my way, so I don't have to worry about them cooking me at the end of it, at the end of it all. Actually, that might have been the only one I had left, so I might have had less than I anticipated. Okay, let's collect everything. So this was a pretty, this was a really good level. I love the I love the idea behind it. I love the concept of it. Um, I love the leniency with the blocks. Um, overall, just a flat out solid level. Like I would, I'd love to see this in CCLP five. It's a little on the long side and maybe a tad a little too demanding of the player, but with the extra blocks that you can totally take advantage of using, and they might even be required, I don't know. But... Uh, this was a lot of fun to solve, nevertheless. very solid level. Deep End is done. Very fun, very solid, awesome concept. Um, absolutely loved it. Took a while to figure out, but it was very well worth it. Alright guys, I think we're going to end it off here. This has been a long video, I imagine. I Middleweight challenges took a long time, and the last level took not as long, but also a long time. And then uh, the warm level was just, it was a nice breather between the two. And this looks like it might be a breather as well. But who knows? So next time we'll take on Twilight Struggle and hopefully solve more than three levels. I, I'm pretty convinced that's going to be the minimum pace from here on out. Or not minimum, the maximum pace from here on out. Uh, but who knows? But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.